Hi. Um, if you like these videos, press like and subscribe, and you'll get a notification when I put one on. Um, try to do one every day at least. Okay. All right. Let's see what we're gonna tune into today. You have become quite curious about energy and how it lives inside of you. We're starting to understand that energy is surrounding outside of you and you may call it to you. You are starting to get this. And now you're back to the body situation and you're wondering where it gets stuck in here. Because as we explain, energy comes down, down, down. And if you are passing it to someone, it comes out like this to them. If you are using it yourself to clear, 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 go straight down to your feet, down, 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 down into the earth, way deep into the center of the earth. Now what if the energy comes in because you're messing around with it and gets stuck in here? Is that possible? You're wondering because this is something that you have heard and perhaps felt in your very own body that there are certain organs that grab energy and hold on to them tightly. Why would uh, something hold on to energy tightly, including you? Why would there be this stoppage of flow? Seems as if it is fear. Does it not look like it? And the fear turns into anger. You can tell by this tightness here. And now it goes back to sadness because you're angry and you don't wish to be. And then you're angry because you're sad. Why would a human wish to be in this cycle of anger and sadness? Anger, sadness, anger, sadness, anger, sadness. Why would this be? If you were to guess, you would have to say they like it. Why else would someone continue the same pattern over and over and over and over. And they don't know they can let it go, yes. First, there must be a certain willingness to let it go before you can uh, uncover the fact that it is just energy and can be gotten rid of as quickly as that. First, there must be a letting go. A letting go, not of the anger and sadness, a letting go of control. A letting go of control. Many of you in human form, all of you in fact, had to learn a sense of control when you came into your physical body. It's all about control there. Then somewhere along the line you realized the things you let go of and lose control of often turn out quite nicely on their own. You look over and, wow, thing looks pretty healthy and happy. So you've messed around a little bit with it, mostly by accident, but you have filed it somewhere that often the things you let go of turn out beautifully. So now you're back here, tightness, tightness, which is anger and sadness. But first it was control. Because the thing that has caused you this anger and sadness was something that you were very sure you needed to control. So that's the first thing. An idea that perhaps, perhaps, maybe, you could let the thing go. This must be the first thing. You can't just dive into anger and sadness and say, get out of here. They're just staying there because the control has them there. It's put them there and told them to stay put, don't you move. They always listen to control. 
So that's the first thing. Say perhaps, maybe, just maybe, I'll try to let this thing go. It would be amazing. Energetic switch with just that statement. Just that very statement, the energy subsides. Disappears, really. Unless you decide to change your mind and jump back in with control. If you continue with that thought, maybe, maybe, maybe I can let it go. Maybe I will. I might. Maybe, maybe. That very energy dissolves anger and pain and sadness. Just dissolves it. Maybe I can let it go. You feel it in your body as we say this. Maybe I will let go. Maybe I will stop controlling it. Maybe. Maybe. There is no resistance there, you see. Maybe allows the energy to come in, flow out again. Easy. If you may envision it going straight down, it will clear it out completely. The energy comes in, goes down, passes all through the middle easily. See that? Right down, down to your toes, deep into the earth like the roots of a tree, hanging on to rocks that are in the center of it. All the way down there, that's where the energy sticks in the center of the earth. You see? Of course we make things sound easy. You are the one that complicates it. Humans are great controllers. Yes, you had to learn it before when you came in, but you don't have to now. We're masters of it. We can control and not control, control, control. You've got it, you've got it, you've got it. So, when your insides are like this, Say, maybe I will let that go and focus on this energy coming straight down, right through the very bright, clear center of you, down, down to the center of the earth, like the roots of a tree grabbing onto rocks at the very center. Maybe. There is much love here for you. Namaste. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that's a good one. Bye.